Back on the Secundus train, you guys. Got these data stacks done. Yep, I had to do four, cause you know, I always do stuff in a lot. Um, you know, it was a lot of fun doing this. New video style. I hope you guys enjoy it. Welcome to So here we are, uh, data stack cluster, doodle box. I bought two. Uh, directions on these are not bad at all. Um, this is going to be, yeah, here we go. Look at the details. These are so cool. Um, this video is a little bit different. Um, I'm doing just a little bit of copying of things from other other YouTubers. Um, just like I said, always striving to try to make a better video for you guys to watch. Um, mainly just so you guys can see what I'm doing, to be honest. Um, so, yeah, boy, the pieces all fit together well. There's hardly any, any kind of uh, mold line removal. I mean, there's a little bit, but not altogether that much. Um, Look at how nice this goes together too. Working on just getting ready to move Secundus forward here. Really love this kit. Um, it was a, just a ton of fun, to be honest. Um, working on it, I thought, oh, what the heck? Oh yeah, here we go. We got extra stuff you get in these sprues too. Uh, you get one extra uh, hive stack holder or a data stack holder, and then you get two extra uh, data crystal holders. Here we go with the new styling of painting video that I'm trying to show you. Um, yeah, I got these little trays really nice for mixing before it goes in the airbrush. Um, I'm trying to be a little bit more uh, conscious of how the airbrush works. I really love this beast too. Um, now that does not go to say that I recommend it for everybody. This should not be your first airbrush. It's entirely too much money um, for that. You can find out how and if you like using an airbrush with, you know, a cheap one, which I still have a cheap one um, that I'm working. I only put the badgers to rest. Um, and I'll still probably pull those out in certain circumstances too. But uh, yeah, this Iowata is is a step above. Um, yeah, there we go with the inks. Like I said, I was, you know, going along here and boy, this was gonna be a really quick, easy video to get us rolling back into Necromunda and Secundus. You know, we got the green. You can see how I mixed the green up. Um, to get my standard green because I know I had a lot of people asking me about that um, yeah and then you know we got to this point and hi guys right in the middle of this one um, it's an awesome kit love it way too fragile uh, we're going we're gonna to beef this up a little bit maybe using this um yeah, anyway, let's get back to the video. So, um, yeah, I used these uh, Ash Wastes uh, Hab Unit. Uh, this part of that kit. Um, had a bunch. Uh, I didn't want to make too many towers for the Ash Waste boards when I was working on them. Um, I might make some more now, um, especially now that I did this with these data stacks. Um, this really reinforced things up. Yeah, I really felt like this thing was gonna last, you know, less than a week, and uh, they were gonna be busted all over the place. But um, yeah, it glued up real nice. Uh, I got it solid down, super glue, baking soda, you know, standard thing that I like to use. Um, yeah, so it's really solid. But there's a really, there was a secondary thing to this as I was building this um, that came to mind. And oh, hey, look at that. There's all those things I didn't use on any of the other Ashway stuff. Uh, you can raise those things up. All right, sanding, 
sanding and uh, gluing up like I normally do. Um, yeah, it's going to be real quick. Um, it, you've seen this before if you've been watching the channel. This is just, you know, PVA glue. At this point, I'm using Mod Podge. Then we're just going to sand it for texture. Yep. All right, here we go. Now we're back to where we were. Um, actually, one step further because we've textured now. So what I wanted to do is work on a little bit of sinister look on this. So I had to bring this back a little bit. Uh, and I, I wanted to keep cold, so I used this Fenrisian Gray. Um, yeah, and all the data stacks as well. Uh, we'll do a little bit of metallics here. Um, you know, it always has to be a little bit of brushwork. <laughs> I know I really like using those airbrushes lately, but um, this is just me learning. And thanks for everybody being patient. Um, figured I'd give it just a little bit of color. Um, I wasn't going to put posters on these um, or graffiti, but yeah, here we go. We're doing a little a little wet blending with uh, one yellow and then we get a little lighter yellow uh, on the lights. This will be enhanced later. Um, yeah, and I figured I'd give these guys just a little bit of things, you know, just a little pinpoint. It doesn't, you know, you can make it as exact as you want. Um, anyways, when I was noticing things, I was like, you know what? I was like, I am going to be doing oils on this. But I also noticed these little skulls on the inside and then my paint job changed a little bit. Um, we're going to have quite a bit of glowy on this. Um, and I'm going to use yellow. Yeah, here we go. It's time for the oils. These are all the ones that I used. Um, it always looks like so much. <laughs> we have it laid out like that. Um, this is very little bit of paint. Um, uh, you're also going to be looking at it in non-sped up footage, which is pretty crazy. You can actually see how fast it is that this stuff works. A um, little bit of mixing. I'll show you exactly how I mix them up in another video if you guys want. Um, you know, if you don't, just, you know, don't, don't make any mention or, you know, tell me, hey, Dale, we don't want to see you anymore, you know, or any of that stuff. Um, yeah, you get a little bit of wipe off, not very much. Um, I didn't actually put a whole lot of paint on this. Um, I wanted it to dry a little bit faster. Um, yeah, and now we're going to be doing some of the highlights using the airbrush. Ooh, the brand new airbrush. I'm very excited that I can have pinpoint accuracy with this thing. Um, this is thinned. This isn't straight out of the bottle. Um, it's thinned just a little bit and I did, uh, I'm only going to show you the one pass, but, um, I, I did generally between two to three passes. So now we're going to do, uh, shadowing. Um, and that's the purple black that I used on all the Secundus terrain so far. Um, which works out really well because uh, this one I didn't uh, I was going to use powders and then I decided not to um, and we're going to get right here to the end of the video um, I know short sweet you guys uh, you know I hope enjoyed all of this here's the end shots um, again it looks a little you know hopefully clearer you guys can see what's going on um yeah you know this is uh this has been quite a thing for video making and for uh you know projects you know, pretty cool hope you like that one shot a bit differently might have been copying some other youtubers um, just a little Love the fact that all of you guys are watching us. Um, thanks for joining Jay and I on our journey this year. Um, our year to date is coming up here pretty quick and uh, it's been a hell of a ride so far. Um, leave comments in the uh, down below um, if you want to see any changes or you know don't want to see my face anymore. You know whatever. Music's bad. Don't care. Um, thanks so much for joining us and. Please like and subscribe.